Hey family, what's good? This is your girl, I am the Bronze Goddess, and I am back. Yes, I am back. Um, and I haven't done a strawberry letter in a long time, so that's what this is. I believe we're at number 26. Strawberry letter at number 26. I'm in love with Hustle Man, okay? Yes, he is a hustle man, and I'm gonna tell you more about him if you just stay tuned, okay? All right, so let me go ahead and get down to the letter. It's a little bit lengthy, but they almost always are. Okay, first, let me start off by saying how much I love your channel. Uh, you seem like a really sweet and kind-hearted person. I am. <laughs> uh, I love how you always give your honest opinion, which brings me to the point of this message. I'm a 23-year-old woman involved with a man 12 years my senior. My boyfriend and I have been together for a little over a year now, and I am forced to wonder if this is the right situation for me. Here's a scenario. He's 36 year old. He's a 36 year old with a rap sheet as long as I am tall. He has a GED but no college experience and he's a three time convicted felon who's done time in federal prison. He sells CDs and DVDs for a living and doesn't have much going for himself. I'm 23 and recently enlisted in the United States Marines. I have big dreams of becoming a world renowned journalist slash author. My future is very bright and set thanks to the Marines. And I am forced to wonder whether or not I should consider moving on. I love him and I'm sure he loves me, but I feel that we aren't on the same page when it comes to thinking about things realistically. Uh, and as much as I care for him, I feel like I'm, he's, I'm staying in this relationship and I am setting myself up for more disappointment. He's very childlike in his expectations and has been a major, which has been a major problem in our relationship. I am ready to get serious about life and all he can think about is bootlegging and smoking weed. I feel like we aren't growing together. I know I'm growing and maturing as an individual, but I fear he's content with how life is going and he doesn't feel the need to change. At the top of it all, he recently suggested we get married, but I'm not sure he actually realizes the responsibility and commitment it takes to make a successful marriage. Plus, I am I have reason to believe that he may just be trying to cash in on the perks that come with me with being a spouse of a military person. Because initially he was totally against me going and now he's suddenly done a 360. Should I continue on with this relationship with him or should I chalk it up as a loss? Am I being selfish for even contemplating ending our relationship or is it best to just sever the ties now to avoid any complications in the future? Um, yes. She love a little hustle man. Um, he's selling CDs and DVDs. Um, so you're asking me my opinion. Okay, before I get started, let me say that opinions are like belly buttons. Everybody has one. Um, and I'm just going to give my opinion. And of course, I always leave these videos open for you all to give your opinion. Uh, some of you may be dating or may be married to someone who uh, has had a brush or two or three with the law. And so you may have an opinion. you welcome to express that. Um, my opinion is, um, you're young, you're very young and you don't know what all there is out there. Um, I don't necessarily think that he, uh, is the best that you can do. Um, I don't know him or anything like that. You didn't really say anything about his personality. Um, you said that you sure, you're sure that he loves you, but you didn't say but anything about how he's treating you. Um, he just seems like somebody who... He may be glutton for punishment. He, not one, not two, but three times. A three-time convicted felon. Uh, that seems to me like somebody who doesn't learn their lesson. It's one thing to get, you know, shame on me, you know, one time, even two times at the most, but three times. He, he doesn't seem to be someone who makes wise decisions. And when you're trying to get in a relationship with someone, especially if you're trying to get married, this person's going to be the leader of your family. I would want somebody who makes decent decisions to be the leader. And if that's going to be him, um, I just feel like, I don't know. I, I'm not sure that he's ready. You said that he's very childlike and his expectations, he doesn't seem very mature. Uh, he doesn't seem very mature to me either, just based on what you wrote. Um, he's selling CDs, DVDs for a living, that can't be that much money. And that you begging to go back to jail. That's not legit. Why don't you try to find a legit job? People are going to say, oh, you know, bronze goddess, it's very hard for convicted felons, people with something on their record to find a job. I know that. Trust me. I have people who I know who have been, uh, who had a brush or two with the law and they find a way. They find a way to get legitimate work because they don't want to go back to jail. 
This man has already had an issue, not one, not two, but three times. And what he's doing now is currently illegal and could land him back in jail. He doesn't learn. If you stay with this man, and especially if you mess around and marry this man, you are setting yourself up for failure because he does not learn. He does not get it. 36, the age 36 doesn't mean he's mature. It takes more to being a man than being over 18. He's not acting like a man. He's a 36-year-old boy. Now, somebody who really is talking about marriage has to have their stuff together. I, you know, the whole thing about... You know, just because somebody asks you to marry them doesn't mean they're really ready. Doesn't mean they deserve to be your husband. That's how I feel. When you ask somebody to marry you, that means you have your stuff together so much so that you think you can take care and help somebody else. He can barely take care of himself. You are the one. You look like the prize. Um, you say you think he may be using you. He may be because, you know... Military does give some good benefits. I have nothing bad to say about the military. Y'all know I'm ex-military, my darn self. Um, nothing bad to say about it. Good perks. I've been out of the military for 10 years and I still get perks. So I know for a fact that that might be something he's looking into. But as far as you and what the life that you want to live, he doesn't necessarily fit. I don't know what kind of relationship you guys have, but he doesn't fit. You know, he's older and maybe that might be something that you're interested in. But he doesn't have much going on for himself. Is this somebody that you want to take home to mama? Is this somebody who you want to be the father of your children? You're 23, so I'm sure you, at some point, I believe you probably want children. Is this somebody that you want to be the father of your children? Does he seem mature enough? If he can't take care of himself, how can he ever take care of you and possibly take care of a child that you all have? So what I'm saying is, do I think that you should be with him? Uh, no, but I do think that you should pray about it. And hold on one second. Sorry about that. But anyway, like I was saying, I don't think this is somebody that you can see yourself with in the future. Um, I don't think, you know, if he was 36 and went through everything that he went through is, and was reformed and had changed, then maybe I would say yes. But it doesn't seem like he changed. Uh, his behavior is going to land him in jail again. So you're not going to just be married to someone. You'll be married to somebody who's currently incarcerated. That's not what you want for yourself. You're 23 years old. You have plenty of time to meet somebody who has more going for themselves, more suited for you. Um, you got to be on the same page. The, the, what makes a marriage successful, and I feel like I can speak on this, being in a successful marriage for the past seven years, being in a successful marriage means you have to be on the same page. And when you grow, you grow together. You're, you're growing. But you guys aren't growing together. That's what you said in your letter. It's not going to get better. Marriage doesn't fix things. I hate when people think that marriage and having a baby and ha doing these big major things is going to fix things. It, you, don't, you don't do these major things to fix things. You do these major things because you're in love and things are going great and now is a great time. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. If you already know dating this man that it's not really working, why marry him and make it even more complicated? So I say pray about it, and I say that I don't think he's necessarily the one for you, but only you really can make that decision. If anybody else has an opinion, of course, you can post it below. And if you have a video response, you can post that as well. I will see you, ladies and gentlemen, in the next video. Till next time. Later, divas. Oh, and people keep asking me for these strawberry letters. How do I get one to you? Can I get your email address so I can get one to you? The best way to get them to me is to just um, go to my homepage and send me a personal message. When you send me a message... Nobody else sees those, and they go straight to my phone, uh, and those are the ones that I check more often. I have so many email addresses. I probably have five email addresses, most of them for business. But, um, yeah, so the one that I check the most is the one from YouTube. Uh, so, yeah, send it through YouTube if you have a strawberry letter that you want me to do, and I will try to get that on for you as soon as I can, all right? So see you guys soon, all right? Later, divas. Deuces.